hey everybody welcome back to our channel so today i'm going to show you how to make some oxtails this is going to be a part of my holiday series to give you some options other than the usual things that you may have for thanksgiving or christmas now i like to have oxtails for any time but generally i make them for thanksgiving so i'm gonna show you what we need so here we have about almost five pounds of oxtails just me and Amaya like these so this will last us a few days okay um, I'm gonna make chicken for the boys and I'll show you how to make that too but anyway we have a bell pepper onion no garlic onion some green onion some fresh thyme soy sauce browning seasoning and browning seasoning is pretty much kitchen bouquet in case you can't find this um, this you can find in any Asian market. They have a Jamaican aisle or um, Spanish markets. They usually have a Jamaican aisle. Any international market, they're going to have this. Some onion powder, garlic powder, oxtail seasoning, salt, garlic and scallion, allspice seasoning, black pepper. This is optional. I like it in there. You don't have to add this. It's optional because a lot of this is still in here. So there's that so yeah that's that so we're gonna get started I'm gonna show you how to clean these up and season them okay so here I have my oxtails in a um, pan and I'm gonna clean and wash my oxtails and I know a lot of people say you shouldn't do this but oxtails are cut and that saw gives them the bone fragments and all that and so I do that with, and I wash with some lemon juice or lime juice and water. You could also use vinegar. Um, and I rub together and I get all that extra fat that's on there. I take off all the bone fragment pieces that's left on there. And then I scrub my kitchen down. I have soapy water in the... Um, next sink over I have some bleach in it and I just clean everything down um the idea of putting that oxtail in my pot with all that extra stuff on there it's just gross to me I you see how I'm scrubbing it and just to get all that you see all that coming off of there I haven't even cut anything I'm just scrubbing them with my hand see all that coming off of there I don't want to put all that extra stuff in my pot all right so if you want to you go right ahead it's your pot of oxtails you do what you do but as for this house we're not doing that so make sure you wash all your produce and prepare it you're gonna have two different bowls you're gonna have one for a set of vegetables that you are going to puree in the food processor or blender and then you're gonna have another one where you're just gonna roughly chop it Okay, and then uh, I'll show you what to do after that.
so I have my vegetables and my ninja. Um, I'm gonna add a little water, and I also have a small piece of beef bouillon in there. That's optional, you don't have to do that. And it's just, just gonna get, it's just gonna be a marinade for your oxtails because this is gonna be done the day before, okay? Even two days before is good. And now I'm gonna take my marinade and add it to my oxtails and then I'm gonna add all my other seasonings as well. And also ketchup. I might not have said ketchup. I don't recall saying ketchup in the beginning. But you're gonna leave just use just a little bit of ketchup. Some people use um, tomato paste, but I just use ketchup. I don't always have tomato paste at home. I don't know why, but I don't. I'm adding a little bit of the browning in there. Do not add too much browning. Um, you don't want to give your oxtails a bitter taste, and do not add too much ketchup because you don't want to give them that tomato we sweet taste. You're just trying to balance out the flavors with the ketchup. Um, and then you're going to add all your other seasonings. You're going to add as much as or as little as you like. And then you're going to mix it all up and refrigerate overnight or up to two days. It is totally, totally up to you. So here are the oxtails. I've taken them out of the refrigerator. They've sat overnight. I made these, I seasoned these early yesterday morning. So I'm heating up my pots. So I'll be back. So I'm letting my pot heat up. And whenever I'm gonna sear anything I, or fry anything even, I let my pot heat up first. And then I add my oil. So that once that, you see, you want that sear. And you want these oxtails to brown on each side. Even the sides, you know, top, bottom, sides, all the way around. Okay, so once you've browned all your oxtails, you're gonna add them back to your pot and you're going to add in the vegetables that you had on your oxtails and I'm just going to add just a little bit of water into the pan where my oxtails were to get all that seasoning out of there and I'm going to cover this and let it go let it cook on you want this to simmer for hours okay you're going to bring it up to a boil then you're going to lower it to a simmer cover it and and let it go. And you want to check it to make sure it's not sticking or burning it or whatever. Um, and you're just going to let it go. Okay, so here I am. I'm an hour in. My time keeps trying to escape my pot. But I'm just going to cover it and I let it simmer like this. It's going to cook down for a few hours, okay? Um... So yeah. All right, so lay it back on. Let's go. Okay, so it's about two hours in. You know, some of them are pretty big, so they're still not where I want them. But they're getting there. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna add in my pepper. I'm not gonna cut the stem totally off. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna 
add my pepper in there. So in the end, I'm going to skim <clears throat> some of that fat off. Okay, so my oxides are done. I have no idea what happened to <laughs> the rest of my clips, but somehow either I didn't actually record them like I thought I was doing, or I've deleted them. But anyway, this is what it looked like once we got ready to eat. So thank y'all so much for watching. I hope that y'all enjoy this video and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.